Brothers, for those of you who are watching these Sowing the Faith videos, if you want to be notified every time I post something new, you can subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, give a thumbs up and like the video, because you certainly will be greatly blessed. May the Lord God bless you. My friends, let us study here in the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse number 2, a fantastic declaration from the Apostle Paul that says this, that I have great sorrow and continual grief in my heart. Why did the Apostle Paul say this? Because he was seeing many people whom the Lord loved, straying away and going into eternal loss. So he felt a great sorrow and continual grief in his heart. Now tell me, inside your home, how many people are still not of Jesus? Do you have this great sorrow and continual grief in your heart as well? Or are you living as if all this was some sort of joke? Those who are saved know that salvation is something serious, eternal loss is very serious. Those who do not love their brother is worse than those who don't believe. Ask God now to give you this great sorrow, this great sorrow and continual grief in your heart and your spirit until your entire family is saved, completely saved. Take a look at a person who was blessed and I'll be right back. I broke my leg a year ago and I felt so much pain. How were you walking with this problem before? And I couldn't have surgery because of my diabetes. Show us how you were walking before. I walked this way. Like now that. I'm walking so normally. walk normally now. Lord Let's applaud Jesus. Now I'm back to pray for you. Father, give these people this great sorrow and this continual grief in their heart for people who are going to eternal loss. Father, it is time for your work to be done in your house. Heavenly Father, touch these people now in the name of Jesus and give them the victory. I rebuke all the evil that is getting in these people's way in the name of Jesus. And you say, Amen. Have a good day.